So here it is by special request. This is going to be my nail room tour. I'm starting here as a reference point for those of you who have been with my channel for a while you know. This is the window that I was peering out of and crying because it was supposed to have gotten warm and then there was that one day or two where it literally like snowed, almost half blizzard snowed and I was in this window crying. <laughs> If you remember that, guys, what I love about it is, is I can see the entire yard. So if I'm still inside, I could watch the dogs while they're out there. So I'm just going to start spanning out for you and going deeper and going further and going further into the nail room, <laughs> which is actually my dining room area. As I span out, there's a couple of things on the floor here. <laughs> my baby the fan is going so he's enjoying the cool air right up underneath the window I have a fan I have my shredder and a heater for when it gets cold in here and also two nail racks they're not mounted to the wall I don't want to mount them to the wall because for one thing I don't want my nail area it formerly being my dining room to look like a commercial space so I'm actually okay as long as they're looking nice and organized like this not by color but I'm okay with the fact that they're on the floor so from here I'll continue to span out we decided to make this an office as I continue to pan out or span out whatever you'll get more of an office feel of the entire room You'll also see that my walls are bare. There's a reason for that too. And I'm standing in the living room. So the desk to the right where my dog is, is my brother's desk. And immediately to my right, right here in front of the camera to the right, is a small shelf system. It's just like a little catch-all shelf, right? Where I throw everything. I think everybody has one of those. And then right in front of my desk... Guys, I'm trying to move around without the camera shaking a lot. Right in front of my desk is another shelving system, but this wasn't set up for the office because it's facing the living room. And this is a shelving system that's supposed to have a fireplace inside of it, but we never finished. We never completed the build of it. Maybe one day. Well, I apologize for the... Um for the visual on this because my furniture is black and it's black for a reason my house is filled with asian influence and you know black is a part of that like uh black trimming and stuff like that in fact let me show you one of my screens that's right in front of my office or right in front of my nail room the top of it i'm not going to go too low because my dogs lay there and they're their little cushions are down there and they kind of looking tacky right now they need to be washed so yeah this is one of the screens that's in my home and as you can see it's trimmed in black so much of my decorum in the house is of Asian influence and so the black furniture naturally goes with it and I know I'm kind of taking a while to get around to my desk but I will well, I will well, you wanted to see the nail area so you see in the whole thing so yeah, as, as I said, you could see that it started out being an office because we do have file cabinets. And he's got just a small, we're gonna replace this one with black trim to match. And when you see my, my area, you'll understand. Also why. from my brother's work area, we don't have anything up on the walls. I chose to keep them bare. I wanted originally to put something up there and let me show you these. I have these which I originally purchased a few of them because I was going to hang them on the wall. I felt like they kind of went with the influence in my home, the Asian influence, because they kind of give me like that Japanese shoji screen type of vibe. I was going to paint them black and then I thought, mm, they actually look pretty nice the way they are. But you know what guys, these things are heavy these were actually made for outdoor use 
continue any further. I do apologize if some of the footage is dark because of the color of the furniture, which was the reason why I had the windows open in the first place. But here I am coming in from another perspective. Uh, this is coming in from the entrance of the kitchen. And there's my nail area, guys. So we'll walk over to it. Yeah, I know it's dark, but my furniture is dark and it is what it is. There's my morning coffee cup, guys. Hello, kitty. And right behind her is a small portable DVD unit. It just sits there. Sometimes I want to, like late at night, where I don't want the big TV playing. I might throw in a DVD and just let it play for myself and entertain myself or listen to music on YouTube while I'm doing nail videos or just watch somebody's video while I'm doing nails. And then, and then all my work is done on my laptop and there's my microphone. Nothing expensive, guys. <laughs> Some people seem to think that because we have these channels, we hit big. Not necessarily, guys. You know what? It takes a lot. It takes a lot. You can ask anyone, any content creator. To the right of my computer or laptop, you'll see that there's a tablet that's sitting in front of a little case. And these cases came in handy. I play around on my tablet like while I'm waiting for uploads to finish or when I have my computer crashes. So that was the tablet. It sits in front of this case. So this case, I'm going to sit down to get closer. This case right here is one of two that I picked up when my mother passed away she had these cases and they were her uh, makeup cases on the left side you'll see those um, Savvy Land color acrylic monomer liquids that I transferred into the glass jars and the plastic bottles are still there because some of them still have liquid in them so when those glass jars go down I'll fill them all the way to the top then there is the Beatles collection. The Beatles polishes that I was saying was someplace else. And these are my Model 1's 24 color collection. And I kind of nicely tuck my art brushes down in between there. And then in the lower part, I don't know if you could see. Maybe just barely. Kind of, right? So those are some gel pots that... I took my poly gel, took some of my poly gel out of and um, transferred them into gel pots. So those are down there. And then right in front of me is my work area. So this is where my grandniece was sitting. And these guys, these drawers right here are from the Dollar Tree. And also the decorations on the drawers are from Dollar Tree. And then it took me two sheets, I think, to put those strips on. And the reason why I didn't cover the drawers entirely is because, at a glance, I want to be able to see what I have inside. And then sometimes I change out the contents of the drawer. My cases of nails that I use. The nails on the bottom are the BT Art Box that I use for the bougie nails on the budget. On the top are those extreme c-curve ones that I've been doing for the acrylic videos and my acrylic brush my cleaning brush and then here's the stand that I use to mount my phone and again like I said the reason why it's off is because we just got done cleaning when we decided to clean from the water spillage on his side we just cleaned the room so it's being put back together uh, someone asked me, I was asked, do I have a ring light? No, I don't. I actually just have two work lights. Let me go above. I have a work light over here, and I have a work light over there, and I like them because I can, they're on, um, they're on those flexible arms, so I can position them anywhere and any way I want. They're work lights, like, you know, workation or craft or whatever. I got them at Menards. Then these and this drawers. is the other reason why I got these drawers. I could literally just pull the drawer out, bring it to the table, use what I need to use. So just like on the other side, I got a care another carrying case of my mom's. This I decided to use for all of my liquid containers. 
because it keeps everything in place and you're not knocking any bottles over and spilling things. alcohol that large one is alcohol acetone in the smaller one and then this is an old bottle that I just keep refilling with monomer there's some nail glue scissors pink scissors black scissors and then my brushes and stuff like that stays in there this way things don't fall they don't drop off the table and again like I said liquid you not knocking bottles over it just keeps everything nice and contained and it looks cute and it, it's matchy matchy right so I have two monomer dishes the one on the left that's sitting on the lampstand is from addicted to pink nails Chardé. I'm sure everybody recognizes this one from not polish so cute right the diamond and then here is my my nail crystal from it was supposed to be for reveal shots guys but this thing just sits here just for me to admire I just love this and oh remember this was in my very first video on YouTube my Amazon nail haul and I just fell in love with this I rarely use it because I not that anything's gonna happen to it I just love admiring it and here is the nail practice hand and foot that matches this is Miko and underneath is my travel case I do have a nail travel case and if you guys want to see that uh, that's going to be a whole different video a whole nother one another one and then some of my most immediate use things in a rolling little because plastic cart when you take things and you need to pull those drawers out they're super lightweight and in here i have most of the poly gels that i've had since i started getting poly gels remember those model one polish bottles <laughs> i know don't kill me that i got them hidden in a drawer but that's the base coat the top coat the glossy top coat and the matte top coat and then remember these pink uh finger covers that i use when i soak off and then in the back really are some old polish like i don't know like old dollar store polish pens that i really don't use some makeup sponges and yeah poly gel guys poly gel and this is my basically everything for acrylic drawer okay there is um i think that's an antibiotic ointment that large jar is my mia secret clear this jar is my mia secret monomer this jar is a milky white that i mixed myself and there's just uh acrylic essentials in there there's 90 percent alcohol oh and then there's like you i use these when the bottles are hard to open i use these to twist the bottles open and there are my uv protection gloves uv protection so going from my desk area i'm able to scoot over and get over here to where i have things stored and again plastic uh drawers it makes it easy and i i, I choose not to cover up the front of them either because now i could just at an easy glance look and see what's inside i prefer that perhaps visually it would look more appealing to um, insert like something to cover up the drawer but nobody's gonna come in here and see this so it works for me and I'm pretty happy with the way everything is set up so from here and I'm not gonna show you guys things in this cabinet because again like I said this was office so there's actually office um, work type stuff related to work and stuff like that in there so we're not going to be going in this cabinet uh, it has nothing to do with nails so in the top drawer um, some stuff that you know, like uh, old pieces of nails that I might have trimmed off that I use for swatches or just to for experiments and testing things out scotch tape some pens there's my little desk vacuum paper towels that I have cut up pre-cut for my acrylic work my e-file I have it perfectly laid in the drawer all I have to do is reach over with my right hand and just turn that knob and the handpiece cradles right in there next to it next to a pack of uh, hand files they're 100 180 grit I believe 
and some other hand tools and this right here is just for me to keep the used ones separated from anything that I haven't used yet and some nail buffers I don't purchase organizers um, I love the idea of it though guys I see many of the ladies and even guys with channels that have like such such wonderful organizers but for me I can be OCD yet sporadic at the same time I don't know if you can feel me on that one but the room is ever-changing um, I have a tendency to move things a lot and so for example this drawer may not look the same in about a month it depends on how much stuff you accumulate and you create more space so what I tend to do is is like if you see this I tend to use stuff like the boxes that stuff comes in that you know you could use for separators a lot of the stuff that I get per fits perfectly in the drawer especially height wise so I just create little separators or use like boxes to organize the drawers so yeah there's the box and even just space guys because look see do you remember how I did that DG look at this how you have your the foils folded I just created a little file system in between stuff and that's all the foils and look at how much space it takes not much at all and that silver box that's all nails I have foils tucked in between nice and neat even in the front of the drawer I have foils tucked in between and if I move over here I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy striping tape tucked in between there so this drawer is a gem drawer um, most of these wheels though are things that I've collected from like Dollar Tree local stores with the exception of this metal work right there that came from Amazon but the, there's Fimos in here in in some of these wheels there's like those gold studs there is um, mixed stuff in there so yeah that's what this drawer is so this one does have a couple of trays and when I use trays it's because I came across them like they were being used for something else and I would run in here to see if they might fit in a drawer and if they do I end up using it empty cuticle pens but then I started buying everybody's cuticle oil <laughs> and then some just a few extra brushes that maybe came with kits some art brushes some more uh, nail tools and you see the little makeup sponges so guys these are like glitter gels but I've never even used them never used them a couple of Michael glitters and then this is my little stamping plate collection I don't have a lot but at least I got some yeah glitters guys I do try to put them in these little jars they're easier to use that way I know they come in the bags and I'm not this nothing against the bags I'm not hating on the bags at all but as far as storage for me as you can see um, it works out better when once I put them in a drawer and guys this is this is the throwback this is the drawer of memories I don't know how long you guys have been on YouTube or watching YouTube channels or whatever okay this drawer right here if you've been on YouTube for a while, you guys know what these are. There was a time period when, and this is a Venalisa product, guys. This is Venalisa, okay? Everybody was getting Venalisa gel pots. And I've said in a few videos that I purchased these, they were so inexpensive. This is from a set of 180 colors for what was it like $79 or something like that and then if two if two sets were purchased like you and a friend went in on the deal it was even less than that it was like 60 some dollars for 180 colors these are all still full full I have colors to last a lifetime and even into a hand-me-down so yeah Venna Lisa gel pots and I'll never give those away I'll use those because they're they're perfect for uh, nail art 
and this is how one of my acrylic drawers got started guys look at what's in there not polish and these are a few others so these are from Gigi MVP nail design I think that's nail by Nikki yeah that's a uh, nail by Nikki almond stiletto clear this is from ebony nails they're pretty too and then the pink jars you guys saw me do a video on her acrylics Chardet from addicted each time there's a break or an interruption it's because I have to download the recording or the segment of recording that I've done to the computer and the pink is from Chardet addicted to pink nails and she has Eden's Rose so that's a start I have more acrylics because if you remember I also have iGel Beauty and I now have Vanessa and then the last drawer on this side old acrylic stuff things that uh, people were kind enough to give to me for me to practice with at the time so I just held on to it and the reason why the acrylic powders are in the bottom drawers is because you know powder gets everywhere if you keep them at the top and then you pick up a powder that's been that has like powder collected on the edge you'll have powder in all your drawers so I have a tendency to keep my acrylic powders in the bottom drawer if I put them in drawers at all which is where I'd rather keep them I'm gonna move through this side rather quickly because there's some drawers that I am not going to show you because more than likely it's going to be and it should be for a whole nother video but this top one <laughs> Okay, guys, so now you guys are going to find out about the diva in me. <laughs> Can't stop laughing. Girl, yes. I've always been like a real a sunglass fanatic. Anywhere I go, if I see some sunglasses, oh my gosh, and they look a certain way. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> there you have it I gave you another side of me so these next drawers I am not going to open up again like I said I I know they should be for a whole nother video this is like all of my collections of press on nails that I've done press on nails that I've purchased and then down at the bottom it's just it's just some um, that's also just some old equipment Somewhere I have an old hair conditioning hat and it heats up. I don't know if you're familiar with those, but I used to use that to heat my hands up and remove acrylics and stuff like that. And this is just something decorative that I have sitting up here and next to it is just a shelving system where and that we're back to that polish rack where at the bottom there's a container to keep bottles from falling over and um there's the monomers that I got from Vanessa's and not polish, alcohol, acetone, and then my iGel Beauty collection with more acrylics from not polish. I dedicated a small shelf to Femi. <laughs> so yeah, guys, me and my brother's office slash my nail room. I really hope you enjoyed this today because as hesitant as I was, I really had a lot of fun doing this. And if you did enjoy it, go ahead and click the like button so I'll know that you did. I also have some fun Amazon nail haul videos and beautiful acrylic nail designs that I know you'll love. Just follow one of the links and I look forward to seeing you there. Much love.